what is good up nation it's stock Shay back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only amc stock what you should be looking after for the future i'm also going to be breaking down what on earth is going on with the price action of amc and what my price prediction is for tomorrow now before i break anything down about the markets and how this could affect amc i do have to mention a couple of things before starting Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. We sign up for Mumu with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account. You're guaranteed up to 10 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is you can always sell these 10 free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some AMC shares for free. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just two days. So please check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So I am recording this just a few minutes before the market closes and so far AMC is looking pretty decent. What I find very interesting though is how when you look at SPY, spy actually obviously we gapped down yesterday we came tumbling down and going into today spy bounced a bit it made kind of like a double bottom like formation here it pushed up to about 396 and since then it's been slowly just crumbling down we're currently around that 391 range obviously it's not looking as strong and right now as spy is starting to really test these ranges amc is actually pushing to the upside as of right now so right now the first thing you'll notice right off the bat would be this inverse head and shoulders like formation we have the left shoulder here we have the head right here we have the right shoulder right over here and as a result it does look like amc might push to try to fill this gap pushing into about the low ten dollar range but after that is very dependent on the market and how amc responds now historically if you look at amc it has a tendency of running very similar to that of SPY. And many people argue that this is just a mechanism that many of the shorts and market makers and hedge funds are using to essentially manipulate AMC on a daily basis. Now, the question is, is this really going to continue? Is AMC going to dump if SPY were to take a hit? My answer to that is it's actually possible that SPY could drag down AMC. But as of right now, AMC is pushed up a bit. AMC is also very oversold. So it does look like it could make a nice move to the upside. So I'm not saying that I'm guaranteeing AMC is going to just explode to all time highs instantly, but we would have to look out for very key indicators to come to that con conclusion. And for tomorrow in particular, I do think AMC might make a pretty decent move. Now, what I'm not liking about AMC though is the volume is still pretty low. So it's not really pushing on low or high volume. Right now, the volume is just not necessarily there. And right here, we're seeing 54% of trades on dark pools. So it's very manipulated. Right, just like what we saw in the past. If you look at Ape now, I also want to talk about the share price of Ape. One of the things we're going to notice about Ape that's very interesting is Ape is also subjected to the same manipulation. 60% of trades on all fleet exchanges, but the volume is just so low for Ape, especially for its standards. Right now, when you look at the data, 20,000 calls in the money are expiring. Right, let's actually look at the options chain. 251,000 are out of the money. So the institutions, they did not want AMC to essentially gamma squeeze or do anything like that. People also loaded up on lots of calls thinking AMC was going to run. So far, maybe AMC runs a bit, but right now there's too much of a big difference between them to get that good gamma. And as far as the fee goes, the cost of borrow is slowly going up. So some improvements are being shown right here. Shares available to borrow is also going up a bit, which means that the shorts are loading up on some ammo to come back. Now, does that guarantee AMC is going to drop? Not necessarily. And from what I'm seeing right now, I'm actually a little bit more bullish for tomorrow, for Thursday. And I want to show you guys exactly why. The first thing is, let's look at SPY. All right, let's actually hide all these indicators. Let me show you something very interesting about it. So on the daily, SPY looks like this. So the first thing you'll notice is SPY has been respecting this downtrend like crazy, just like this. And what happens, we flipped since 362 and we've been actually respecting a slight uptrend, right? Just like this. So now we have kind of like this, uh, 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 this pendant that's forming. SPY is respecting this, but you'll notice that SPY right now is at the very bottom of it. And what SPY does is very dependent on what happens over the next few weeks. It also depends on many different factors. We know there's lots of manipulation out there, but if SPY actually gets a big break below this, 
trend line, it's like really below it. We need to get a balance and come back into it and try to hold it. Because if we break below this, it's going to break this uptrend we've been on for quite a while. And SPY could actually end up taking a big hit and maybe even end up filling some of these gaps to the downside. It would be very bad if SPY were to break below this. Now, if SPY does break it, it's not going to be good. So far, SPY is trying to hold it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll have to wait and see how that really goes. For AMC, how I'm essentially seeing is it is AMC is actually trying to kind of like hold this range. But if SPY has a big break to the downside, it could actually not be in AMC's favor because AMC, you know, tends to be correlated with SPY unless we're starting to see some shorts start to cover, unless there's like a big rally. That's what would make the difference. So I'm still very, very cautious when it comes to AMC. I am a little bit more bullish for tomorrow. And for Ape, let's actually look at Ape right now. Ape right now, it, it's pretty oversold still. It's trying to push up. The next key zone would be that uh, 5.83 range. After that, the $6 range is on the table. And I do think that uh, Ape is going to be testing this resistance very, very soon. It wants to push up, but the overall market in AMC will affect it going forward. So my target for AMC, let me show you what my main targets are. Uh, going into tomorrow, all right? First off, AMC has resistance around this like 9.8 range. There's a little bit of resistance right there. You can see AMC did get a rejection right there. The next key zone is going to be $10. I want to see AMC break this. If we break that, then we have this gap fill right here at $10. Wait, sorry about that. Uh, let me bring back my horizontal line. It's at ten dollars and fifteen cents, ten fourteen whatever, and then after that, if she breaks that, then ten point three, because we got a big rejection off that the last time we ran up. After that, we have resistance at ten point seven five. So there's a lot of resistance on AMC. I think tomorrow we're gonna see AMC push and try to fill this gap because it is respecting this inverse head and shoulders it is pushing up even though spy is kind of red but spy dropping near the end is affecting it just a little bit but overall it's holding up pretty darn well so i want to see amc fill this gap i want to see how it reacts to about 10.16 10.2 let's see if it gets a rejection or if it continues to push to the upside anyways guys thank you all so much for listening i hope this was as clear as possible i want you all to know that when it comes to amc the squeeze potential is still there, guys. Nothing has changed whatsoever. Shorts have not covered. Looking at other indicators real quick, I'm seeing some pretty decent things on the five minutes. Let's actually look at the daily first. We're still seeing this potential crossover from the MACD that happened. Maybe it pushes us up a little bit more. Our size improving a bit uh, on the five minutes. Actually, let's look at the two hour. Two hour, it's slowly respecting a bit of an uptrend, but it's a little bit choppy right here. Our size just okay. On the five minutes, we're noticing that it's still on a bit of an uptrend at the very end of the day. So hopefully we get that push. Anyways, for tomorrow, I'm, I want to see how AMC reacts to ten dollars, ten point two. Uh, let's see if we can get to ten point three. If not, if we break past all those, then ten point seven five is on the table. So those are the very key zones. I'm more bullish than bearish. If AMC does somehow end up coming down, please watch out for. 9.4, $9, $8.75, and finally 8.5. Anyways, AMC likes to bounce around the 8, so I'm not as concerned about that. I'm more bullish for tomorrow. And anyways, that's my prediction. So thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright, and peace out.